How's it going, everybody? This is 2019 Bowman Baseball. It's a double header. It's a dual case break. It's one jumbo case and one hobby case. So 20 boxes. Should be about 36 autographs. Um, so pick your team's number one. Here is the full list. Um, Trevor got the Blue Jays in a spot randomizer. And a few other teams were sold in spot randomizers. So thanks, everybody, for participating in those. Help it sell out tonight. And here we go. We're going to start off like the description says with the hobby case. It should be about an hour or so break for hobby. And then we'll do the jumbo case. I'll also do a hit recap. So if you don't feel like watching the full video, you don't have to. So I'll open the, each box at once. Not all of them at once, but box by box we'll go. Try to go somewhat quick since I know it's pretty late on the East Coast. But like I said, no pressure to stay up and, and watch the full thing. I'll be doing hit recap and I'll also upload the full video once I head off air tonight. Um, if anyone else wants to uh, sell a breakout tonight, I'll break it. The only ones we can't do tonight are Contenders Draft Picks. That comes out tomorrow. Um, National Treasures Basketball comes out Friday. And the Football Mixer, that's breaking Thursday. But Basketball Mixer in the store. Maybe a Marvel Avengers break. I'd love to do one of those. But if not, like I said, I think Joe hopefully should be feeling better tomorrow. He'll come in here and... Uh, do some more breaks. So if you tune in late or hop in and out, like I said, wait till the end to uh, to see if your team got any hits. Just to keep the break somewhat at a decent time. Remember, no paper card ship, but all of the Chrome cards will be shipping in this one. All Chrome cards ship, no paper. All of the inserts ship as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I think Vlad grew out. I mean, he's going to get called up soon, too. And his price will probably only go up. Hopefully the Blue Jays call him up soon. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Hopefully hit a Super Fractor in this one. We haven't hit a Super Fractor yet from any of our cases. We've done about 20 cases so far. No Super Fractors. We did. I think Jason hit a red autograph. I hit a red non-auto. Not sure if Joe's hit any red autos. All right, we got an orange shimmer autograph. Look at that, number to 25. That is Nick Madrigal. Very nice hit. White Sox is Jared. Want him in the spot randomizer. Um, we donate all of the paper-based cards. So, like, kids who come into the shop. Um, and that goes for veteran-based cards, too, for, like, different breaks. Um, and then we have, like, Mark, who was in here earlier. He's a teacher at a school, so we sent some uh, some cards to him. And he actually sent us some cool photos of the... The kids having fun with them. So, different stuff like that. We don't sell any of them. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't think so either, huh? So we need a red autograph or a superfractor. <laughs> One of the two. That's a nice start, though. All right. Knizzer, Atomic, those are one per box for the Hobby Edition. There's a Vlad Guerrero Chrome, and there's a Vlad Guerrero Top 100. My arms are going to be like rubber. All right, to 499 Gavin Lux. Oh, sorry about that, EA. Um I didn't send out the Blue Jays codes yet. But I see yeah, you got two you got two $5 break credit codes. Um I haven't sent those out yet though. I sent them out for the the first spot random, but not not the Blue Jays yet. But I'll be sure to send those tonight. And yeah, you have ten dollars on your way. All right, Luis Garcia to one twenty five. Thirtieth anniversary. Those all will ship, of course. There's a Vlad thirtieth anniversary. Nice. Should be it for that hobby box numero uno. <coughs> All right, so that was box one. Box two. Let me slice them all right now, too. be pretty nice not too bad when's he expected to be called up next year I guess he's still pretty young right he's a top like 20 prospect I think in all of baseball I'm pretty sure I was looking at the baseball America list that Joe has All right, so nice start so far, that first box. Orange auto out of 25, Nick Madrigal. I like the hobby a lot. It just takes a while to open all these packs. But a lot of these hits are pretty worth it. You've gotten the Brewers in every break so far? Wow, that's pretty impressive. I posted them at all different times too. That's that's a good job. Yeah, I'll have to see in the back. Um, but check the store tomorrow morning, everybody. Should be another Bowman break. I don't think we'll do another dual case, but maybe. You never know. We did fill this one up pretty quickly less than 24 hours right that makes sense yeah 
Yeah, I think the same goes for, for Joe Adele with my Angels. <clears throat> He's hurt right now, but... uh. <clears throat> Yeah, probably be calling up next year. All right. We got another orange coming up. It is Victor, Victor, Mesa, orange, number 25. Look at that. Wow. The Marlins is Keith. That's a nice cord. Man, nice case so far. Purple paper, number 250, Luke and Walker. Or, sorry, Luke and Baker. Luke and Baker for the Cardinals. My bad. Altuve. For the Sheffield. Oh, really? Corey Reyes? Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Maybe I was thinking of him then. Hey, what kind of contract is Yelich signed to? Is he signed to a a big deal? I, f I forget if, if Miami had signed him. There's a Vlad Guerrero ready for the show. So I think with all of the inserts in Chrome, Trevor, you already paid for your spot pretty much. The Blue Jays. To 150, Adelise Garcia. Atomic there for the Rockies, Lambert. But would like to see some Vlad grow ink just because they, they, they sat up there so long. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's pretty that's pretty friendly deal, although I'm sure... They'll give him an extension, maybe. Keep him happy. But yeah, that's pretty pretty team friendly deal there. There's an autograph, Ryan Costello, base auto for the twins. That's going out to Jared. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Five years at six and a half million. Pre yeah, that's crazy. I mean, if he was a free agent, even last year, before his hot start this year, he probably would have gotten at least three, four times that. Which I kind of feel bad for him, but that's a lot of money no matter what, so can't complain. There's Evan White Blue to 150 for Seattle. Yeah, we were talking about it the other day, me and Joe, on one of these Bowman breaks. That has to be one of the more lopsided trades in MLB history. Obviously, it's not too long into the deal so far, but it's looking pretty lopsided. <clears throat> and it's funny because everyone was talking about Stanton. But it looks like Yelich was uh, the better guy to get in a trade. Box three. 
I know. <laughs> Pretty stacked. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And then, of course, he had the, the tragic Jose Fernandez. He was looking to be a, a pretty stud pitcher. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. And yeah, I think I said, I think I've seen it in interviews where they've said that kind of really hurt the team deep and kind of kind of messed them up which is too bad because yeah I mean fast forward a few years later that, that would have been one of the top teams and definitely the NL but baseball is so crazy I'm sure they'll be back in it pretty soon as long as they draft well keep their farm system good That's why I think baseball is so interesting. It's got the most parity for sure out of... Although NFL is pretty. But I guess recently the Patriots have been pretty dominant. But MLB is just a new team emerges every year, which I, I kind of like. You don't see like uh, Warriors dynasty in baseball. And I still think it's the best game to go to live is a baseball game out of at least the three major sports. I haven't been to too many hockey games. I went to a Kings game last year, but I think baseball is probably my favorite. It can be a little long, but I don't You go on a nice Sunday. It's awesome. All right, so we're going to slide through here. we got a gold coming up. Gold auto Eli Morgan for the Indians. Number to 50, John Samuelson. There you go, John. Nice one. 43 out of 50. Nice hit. Hockey is a lot of fun, too. I agree. Yeah, I've enjoyed every every hockey game I've been to, for sure. Especially if you're up on the glass. Although I've never sat there, it seems like it'd be cool. But I think I've... Although I did see a New York Rangers game. So I saw one in Madison Square Garden. There's a Anderson, the 499 Braves. I saw one at MSG... And then I saw a couple Kings games, as well as the All-Star game when I was here a couple years ago. There's a Spangenberger for the Blue Jays, Atomic. Those are not numbered. But I would like to go to like a kind of a, a stadium like the Long Island Coliseum. I think that would be cool to see a hockey game there. There is Francisco Mejia to 150 for the Padres. Yeah, I don't know either. I think they were just, yeah, it's just, they seem to rush it kind of. I don't know who was pulling the strings. I don't know if Jeter was totally in charge, was he? Amaya for the Cubs to 499. And that was that box. But yeah, it seemed like they just kind of rushed it a little bit. 
Ooh. All right, next box. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever seen a professional soccer game live. I mean, I've seen like college and high school. I don't think I've seen an MLS game. I'll have to, I'll have to check out an MLS game. They have the new LA team from last year, two years ago. New stadium. Maybe I'll see. trying to think what other sports hockey I've seen I've been to a golf event actually actually I thought it'd be kind of boring the golf event but it's actually pretty exciting went into a playoff the one they have um I think it's in Brentwood or something like that so it's like half an hour away from where our shop is and I think I want to say probably four or five years ago I think it was like Sergio Garcia was in the playoff against somebody else we went on Sunday. That was cool. And I looked at tickets for the U.S. Open, which is in Pebble Beach this year, which is up Northern California, up by, like, Monterey. Um, but tickets are er, – it's not the tickets that are too bad. It's, like, a hotel or Airbnb. It's a pretty small – town and not a ton of accommodations if you want to get an airbnb on like a saturday night there for the u.s open i think it's over like a thousand dollars so i'll probably be pass passing on that you went to world cup in 94 yeah that's awesome i'd love to see a world cup game when's the america world cup 2026 i'll have to check out a game yeah, it is hard to watch live. It's good if you go with someone who's like been been to a lot of golf events and know knows where to go and all the nooks and crannies for sure. But yeah, I mean, if you get up right where they tee off, it's really cool. You can hear them talking to the caddy and all that. Um, but yeah, World Cup 2026. I have to go. Joe wants. Joe wants to go to Cutter for 2022. <laughs> I think he was saying he met somebody at a bar who's like worked for the Cutter government and now he wants to go to World Cup. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'd if we could break there. I don't know. Can we bring cases of sports cards over there? Um, number 250, Pete Alonzo. The Mets, that's Daniel. Nothing against Cutter. I just don't know if me and Joe could uh, all of a sudden bring cameras and and start start ripping open packs in the middle of the street there. Maybe they wouldn't mind. The only, other than Mexico, the only foreign country I've been is uh, Japan. And we did, when we did our Bowman breaks in Japan. So I would like to break somebody somewhere else. Although the Japan was pretty rough. We had to wake up at like, I think it was like 2 or 3 a.m. to start at our normal time here. Maybe even earlier than that. We were doing... Bowman Asia, so it was exclusive to the Asian market. So we were the only breakers doing the Asia edition, and they had like special refractors and whatnot. I'm sure some people remember it or have seen our videos. There's Chris Shaw to 499. Yeah, basketball's pretty fun to go to. Sean Murphy, Atomic. <clears throat> I 
like basketball games. I haven't been to, to too many, though. I think the last Lakers game, probably like six or seven years ago, I, I went. It's tough here in L.A. because I guess you can see the Clippers, but Lakers games, even when they suck, are pretty expensive still. It's, it's kind of a, like a touristy thing to do. Medina to 125, so tickets are always expensive. Although I did see a Heat game a couple years ago too. Miami Heat. That's cool. Yeah, I'd love to go to Colorado Stadium. I'd love to go to Colorado, although I'd be a little nervous in my breathing. I have I have weak lungs. There's a Casey Golden, speaking of the Rockies, to 299. Colorado Rockies, that is Eric Bailey. There you go, Eric. And college football is definitely on my list, too. I I want to go to like an SEC game, maybe. The only games I've called football is UCLA, which, I mean, it's fun, but it's nothing like football in the South. Yeah, train whistle before you, yeah. Right. Yeah, all of a sudden they see me and Joe. Joe's doing, like, train whistles. I don't know what's going to happen. Especially with, I mean, World Cup, I feel like you'd have people from all over the world. Might get some international customers from it, though. Yeah, I'd love to go to SEC, yeah. Like the Iron Bowl or something. One of those games. That'd be cool. For sure. Thought I'm missing a pack there. But I'm trying to think what else. What other sports are there? Has anyone been to a WWE match? I feel like WWE wouldn't really... That wouldn't be a lot of fun unless you're, I guess, a really diehard fan. But I feel like the announcers, unless they pipe in the, the sounds of the announcers, I feel like the announcers yelling and screaming are kind of like half the fun. Yeah, I bet. I bet they're pretty expensive, right? And then, I guess NASCAR, it's kind of the sport. Been to a few NASCAR races. I actually think NASCAR is a lot of fun to go to. Tailgate. Although sometimes it gets a little boring. Depends on what race racetrack you go to, though. The California Speedway is kind of a little boring. It's, there's not a ton of action in the race. But I bet somewhere like Daytona would be a lot of fun. Jesus Luzardo, Atomic, A's. Yeah, college, I bet college football could get crazy, right? Yeah, you got to know somebody to get, get a nice deal.
on tickets. Maybe we could email Panini and get get us in. Maybe do a little breaks. All right, there's a gold number to 50 for the uh, for the Astros. Seth Beer, Forrest Whitley, and Jordan Alvarez. Yeah, I actually went to Talladega a couple years ago. It was a lot of fun. Red coming up. Red, five out of five, Jazz Chisholm. Five out of five, Red Refractor for the Diamondbacks. That's EA. Nice one, Eric. It's been a colorful case so far. Nice. Great name, too. There you go. Another Casey Golden. It's time to base auto. Eric. I miss color. Hmm. I'll check it out. Check the paper stack. I didn't see in this stack. Oh, there it is. Thank you, guys. One out of 25, Zach Collins. Uh, white Sox. Orange paper. That's Jared. There you go. Sorry about that. Sort of team would have caught it, though, in case nobody else caught it. But thanks, guys and gals, for letting me know. All right, so... Tricky part is I've been through this stack. This is all paper, but I'll go through it again. All right, went through those onto this stack. So we did hit the autograph already.
The hobby is sometimes tricky because the pattern's a lot different. <laughs> Never mind, it's not mine. <laughs> yeah, the only time. Yeah, like I said, the sorting also goes through all the paper too. So in case I miss another, but <clears throat> usually pretty rare. Um, the only other time that we've missed it and then the sorting team caught it is. It was a Todd Gurley Super Fractor from his rookie year, so. But other than that, I don't think we've missed any other one on one. All right. So that was that box. This next box will be number six, and we'll be about halfway through the hobby. Then we'll move on to the jumbo. Good luck, next one. So check out the store for more. More breaks will be added once I head off air tonight and into tomorrow morning. Might be a little later than um, the breaks might post a little later than they were today since this one sold out, but I'll try to get s some more stuff up. We do have National Treasures Baseball in the store. I'm sure that'll go tomorrow. Um, we'll see if we can dig up any more Bowman to post. So yeah, definitely check it out. I'll be doing a hit recap video if you don't feel like staying up to watch the whole thing. I know it's getting late over there on the East Coast. So I'll do a hit recap of all of the numbered cards, the non-autographs, as well as all the autos. Wow. I bet everyone just watches the dog. These halftime shows, I bet they spend a lot of money on these talent. They could just put out a few dogs and everyone will be loving it. Like golden retrievers or something. Like the puppy bowl. Although I am a sucker for the <clears throat> like halftime shots where they win like $50,000 if they make it from half court. Those, although they're rare, it's just absolutely electric to watch um, someone hit it. Then that one time LeBron James came over once the guy hit it, like the heat game, and LeBron James came over and like tackled him. He was so excited. Blue auto to 150, Cedric Mullins. For the Orioles. Blue Auto to 150. Baltimore, Kyle. Cedric Mullins. Really? Spurs fans are? I guess any team with a lot of success historically will be kind of like that. But yeah, I, I mean, haven't there been talks about moving a team to San Antonio? Like a football team maybe or something? I know the Raiders were kind of close, right? 
Yeah, I have that game on right now. I haven't been really watching it. There's a good Brian Hayes, a 25 orange. Wow, back to back guys hit the half quarters for 20 grand. See that? That's what I mean. I mean, those are insane. That's Jack with the Pirates. Man, that's crazy. I'll have to check that video out. Yeah, I, I haven't really read. I did see that headline, though, about Luke Walton. That's pretty nuts. I don't think I could ever. Maybe if I had a hundred shots, maybe I'll hit one. Although it might be, it might be a thousand shots I need. I'm more of a box out guy. Maybe a few rebounds. That's usually my game. Box out. Box outs don't count in the stats either. All right. Alec bomb. Atomic Phillies. Purple, Marte for the Mariners, number 250. All right, we're halfway through the hobby. Man, 43 minutes? Damn, I thought I'd be able to do it quicker. All right, halfway through. Pretty nice case so far. A few oranges, a red. Some nice stuff. Gold. Yeah, maybe you're, you're right. I just, I can never hit three-pointers. That's why I'm saying it. But, yeah, if I practice my form maybe a little bit before... Maybe I could hit one. I've seen where they do it blindfolded too. That's even crazy. And people nail it. I think it was like a Duke game or something I saw where they had the kid. And it like, if he makes it, his whole tuition is paid for and he nails it. The one that I would be good at is, I don't know if anyone's seen it, when they have the one of the bowl games. Dr. Pepper does like the Dr. Pepper challenge. And you have to throw the football. It's just like one of those football games where you, where you throw it into the correct uh, circle basket hole thing. <clears throat> and then you see these people. They just stink at throwing the football. I'd be good at that. Although I think you win like Dr. Pepper for life. Or something. Probably I don't need that. Oh, I think I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's blindfolded and everyone cheers. Yeah. I think I have seen that one. That's pretty funny.
You know what also is a good one to watch at halftime shows is where they have the mascots play the youth football team. And there's this one, I'm sure it's a pretty famous clip. There's this one. I don't know where it was. I mean, I think it's like a cougar mascot or something. He just wrecks this little kid. I mean, just totally tackles him. Which would be a flag in the NFL. I mean, it was brutal. But it was pretty... I think the kid is fine. So it's okay to... Okay to laugh at it. Oh, it's tuition paid for? Oh. I don't have any tuition, so that wouldn't be used for me. But I would like to enter it. I would like to enter the Dr. Pepper challenge. We'll have to do our a Jaspi challenge <clears throat> at a national or something. There's a Vince Fernandez for the Rockies. Another one for Eric. Third auto there. Vince Fernandez. Bit of a lad base. I'll just put that in that. Okay, cool. He didn't pay yet? No, this is the guy for the. Uh, uh, oh, okay. The, uh, the replacement. Gotcha. Moogie Betts to four ninety nine. Red Sox. Luke and Baker Atomic for the Cardinals. Man, Lillard, he's underrated. He's been on fire. Colton Welker, another Rocky, number 150. Number 125, Andres Jimenez. New York Mets. Casey Mize, Sterling insert there. There is an orange 25, Victor Robles. One out of 25 for the Nationals. Top 100. Nice. Five boxes to go from the hobby case.
about a little over halfway through. Still looking for the super tractor from one of our cases. Maybe it's in the jumbo, maybe? And all this suspense for super tractor. We might as well hit a super tractor auto. I don't know which ones have been hit or not yet. I know there's a tracker somewhere. But look at it. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Alright, next box. Good luck. Gold paper to 50, Chris Davis for the athletics. Number to 50, Chris Davis, gold paper. Abreu Atomic, Yankees. There's a Franco, number 299. Nice one there. Franco to 299 for Tampa. Chris G got the Tampa Bay Rays. Now we need some ink on it. Nice. Blue paper to four ninety nine, Alex Fiedo, Tigers. Blue paper to four ninety nine, Fiedo, Tigers on that one. Get some more base. There's a raise insert there. Still looking for the autograph in this one, I believe. There's a Mike Trout. Rookie of the Year favorites. Where is the auto? Right? I don't think we fit one yet, right? The last one was Fernandez. That was the last box, I think. There it is. Connor Capel, Cleveland. Refractor auto to four ninety nine. John S has the tribe. Nice refractor auto to four ninety nine. Hernandez to four ninety nine for the Tampa Bay Rays refractor. And that is that box. All right, four boxes left of the hobby. Then we'll do the jumbo. I'll have to clear my, my desk off here of the hobby in between breaks. And then we'll, uh, we'll keep the same recording going just so it's all on one 
video. All right, next box. Okay, see up three points, seventy three seventy. Don't have any interest in either team, so kind of rooting for double OT. So this keeps me entertained during this break. Although I should be able to finish it before the end of the fourth quarter. All right, for the jumper, I might open two boxes at a time just because they're less packs. All right, so four autographs to go in this hobby case, unless we hit a bonus auto. Some of the Under Armour All-American autographs, usually a bonus on those, so maybe we'll hit one of those. Anybody got any trivia? Is Brian still in here? Got any trivia for us? Or for me at least? I don't know if anyone else wants to participate. So yeah, like I've been saying, we'll be adding some more stuff throughout the next 12 hours probably um, into the store. We do have some National Treasures Baseball up there. I just added that today. So I'm sure we'll be able to get that done tomorrow. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jaspi Breaks. Always posting big hits to the Instagram. I do most of the Instagram posts, so I always try to post at least a few times a week so you can see some big hits coming out. <clears throat> Ian Anderson, the 250. So be sure to follow us over there. There's a Franco Sterling. Blue paper, Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Number 150. Nice. Um, that's breaking Thursday. Thursday at 3 p.m. So right right about when the NFL draft starts. But yeah, we'll start that 3 p.m. And it should only take about an hour or so on that one, actually. Why do you need a rag on Joe, Rex? Did he not get you a hit? Michael Givens the two fifty. Joe's on the on the IL, the DL, the IR, whatever they call it nowadays. He's uh sick today. Fabian, I think he should hopefully feeling better tomorrow morning. Also, I might I might die too. Both of us might have to have Jason Jaspi fill in. Seth Beer to one twenty five. Oh, the Cubs played the Dodgers. Oh, that's what I was assuming, but I didn't want to say Cubs Dodgers seven two. Maybe that's why he's not here, uh, Rex. He he felt the L coming. 
He said, you know, Rex is just going to brag on me today. <clears throat> that came out of nowhere. Redemption, Diego Cartaya for the Dodgers. Dodgers, that is Daniel D. Wow. That's pretty good, John. That's right up Joe's alley. That kind of like a... Where he does like the... What is it for football? Um, carry on my wayward son, Johnson. I pulled a ton of those, yeah. I, I've only done a few cases of Bowman. I, I think that's like the fifth one I've hit. Yeah, you know how expensive our Joshua Dobbs will be? Once he becomes a Hall of Famer. His gold jacket. He's going to want like $1,000 per break he sells. So it's going to be nuts. Maybe we can bring in like Taj Boyd or something. All right, so I'm actually going to open all three boxes of the hobby, and then we'll go box by box. I'll keep them in each box stack, though, so. Man, our Joshua Dobbs is going to have revenge on you guys for doubting him. Wait until he replaces Big Ben. Steps right over Mason Rudolph. He's on the Steelers, right? I guess that speaks for itself. But yeah, I bet we can get Taj Boyd, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a retired quarterback, Doug Flutie or something. There's this app called Cameo. Website and app called Cameo. And allows like different people, like influencers. You can pay to uh, to have them send you a video message of whatever you want to say. I'm sure as as long as it's not like explicit or something. And a lot of athletes are on there. And there's like To. He was charging like five hundred dollars, I think, for a one minute message. But I think there's some guys in there for like ten, twenty bucks. So I was like, hey, we can contact these guys and be like, if you wanna if you wanna come break for us, pay more than twenty dollars, I bet. Alright, so we have that one. We'll put that to the side. We'll open this one, and then we'll open the third left, and then now uh, we'll see what we got to end off this hobby case. 
Oh yeah, Nathan Peterman. He might be on cameo. Although he probably gets like crazy death threats or something. He probably doesn't want to be on there. I kind of feel bad for him. Maybe like Jamarcus Russell. Would Joe let... Would Joe let us hire uh, Jamarcus Russell as a breaker? You think he would? He might quit. He'd have to bite his tongue every time he sees him. Him, Amari Cooper, Joe really despises. Dennis Eckersley, Joe really despises. And uh, Darius Hayward Bay, all those guys. Dennis Eckersley is actually a funny story. I think Dennis Eckersley's from like the same town. Or went to the same high school or something like that that Joe did. Or something like that. There's some tie with him and Joe. Um, I don't think the same high school class. But, but you know what I mean. And uh, he was signing free autographs at the National. At the Case Break Pavilion. Dennis Eckersley was. And I think he just finished signing. He was walking off the stage. And I think Joe asked him to sign a baseball. And he just flat up denied him. So I think that's that's why Joe despises Dennis Eckersley. Yeah, exactly. Just happens to be just happens to be the opponent's team. Hockey game? Ooh. Now you got me trying to watch this game. This is in San Jose? I thought the Knights had a better record. Wow, they have a three minute power play? Five minute power play? Damn. Now, this is a hockey noob question. If they score a goal during the power play, does it go to zero or do they... It goes to zero, right? Or do they still have minutes left in their power play? Yeah. Yeah, he's got like the worst QBR in NFL history or one of the worst. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, just when it's a, a minor power play or minor penalty. What are the major penalties? Like slashing or something? Tripping? Or is it just a case-by-case -case basis? Wow. Oh, gotcha. I see. Okay. So minor penalties are two minutes and done when the team scores. Majors. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, that was crazy, Eric. And then did you see... It wasn't as viral, but Dougie Hamilton, he's a player for the uh, Hurricanes. Wow, they scored, tied it up. He's a player for the Hurricanes. He was... Him and... Ovechkin were going for the puck in the corner and Hamilton kind of skates off. He didn't want to get hit It was a pure business decision plus in the playoffs, too. I 
I never saw anything like it in hockey. Refractor Auto Keegan Thompson to four ninety nine. Chicago Cubs on the board, Daniel D. Man. That's crazy. Three goals on the power play? Wow. Jason Jaspi, he did a break with, uh, not Seth Jones, but Martin Jones. To 499, Kyle Wright for the Braves. But yeah, I saw that. That was pretty, pretty, pretty brutal. He was asking for it a little bit, but yeah, that was brutal. Blaze Alexander, Atomic. He got totally KO'd. Four ninety nine Anthony K for the Mets. Gold Shimmer Sandro Fabian, forty out of fifty for the San Francisco Giants. Oh, they scored again. Man. What a game. Was it three nothing? That was the 10th box. On to the 11th box. We'll do the middle and then the box on the right, number 12. And then I got to go grab another monster box to store all these cards. And then we'll get going with the next one. The jumbo case. Jumbo case will be a lot quicker. So... There's gold 2 out of 50. Kyle Tucker. Astros. Two out of fifty gold, top one hundred. Hunter Green Atomic for the Cincinnati Reds. Those are one per hobby box. Won't be seeing those <coughs> um, non autographs in the jumbo. Wow, that is crazy. What a comeback. Man, I wonder what their their betting odds were. Pablo Martinez to four ninety nine for the Rangers. Blue paper. They must have been like 100 to 1 or something. 50 to 1. That's crazy. There's a Nick Madrigal. Matt Manning to 299.
Autograph base auto Marco Luciano. Nice hit there for the San Francisco Giants. Luciano going out to San Francisco. That is Daniel D. Nice hit. I would just need a Joey Bart. I know, we we're just talking about that, Adam. We're watching the game now. It's crazy. Announcer just said one of the greatest comebacks in Stanley Cup playoffs history. Four goals in a five minute power play to come back from three nothing. Now it's four three. Five minutes left. Insane. All right, last box from the hobby case. If anyone wants to do like a Marvel Avengers break or something like that, if it sells out during uh, this next hour or so, I'll break it tonight. If not, like I said, I think Joe should be hopefully feeling better and uh, be in the store tomorrow to break with you guys on his normal time. But I appreciate everyone getting in. We've been nonstop breaking for almost seven hours. So that's awesome. Danny Jansen base auto for the Blue Jays. I don't want to see it go to overtime. There's an atomic Logan Webb. Spanberger to four ninety nine for the Blue Jays. And this should do the hobby case. Took longer than I expected, man. Slack it. Christian Javier to four ninety nine Astros. Empty net. All 
Alright, so that's a hobby case. I'm gonna go grab a, another monster box. Ooh. Pucks on that, pucks on that. Alright, jumbo case coming up. All right, jumbo case. Ah, oh, that was such a good luck. Should have scored there. Empty net, no. They had a shot. All right, so for the jumbo, I'll open two boxes at a time. Good luck, everybody. This is the second game, as we could call it. The doubleheader, jumbo case edition of our <clears throat> two dual case Bowman break. There was some nice stuff in the hobby, so hopefully we hit some nice stuff in this jumbo. Should be about 24 autos in this jumbo break. So keep that in mind, unless we hit any bonus autographs. Man, Vegas totally blew it. You just realized there's more? <laughs> yeah, two caser, man. Crazy, huh? Whoa, they scored? I missed it. Wow. What a game. Oh, whoops. Let's open the second box. This jumbo, though, is a lot faster, Trevor. Less packs, easier to rip. 
So it should be about 40, 50 minutes. But yeah, 24 autographs. This this jumbo has three autos per box compared to the last one, the hobby, which has one autograph per box. Man. Do they do the three on three in playoffs or is that just regular season? Or the four on four? Autograph Brewer Hickland for the Royals. Daniel D. Blue Shimmer Ryan Hess Halsey. Hesley. Number one fifty. Cardinals. Purple Auto, Andrew Knizzer, number 250 for the Cardinals. Walter with the Cardinals. Purple Auto, 154 out of 250. Man, I really want to see a super fractor. I haven't pulled one. I don't think I hit one last year. It's probably been two years. Crazy. It would really juice me up for this break here. All right. Autograph Daring Cruz for the Braves. Base auto. Jody has the Braves on the board. All right, we got Ethan Hankins, number 125 for the Indians. Ethan Hankins, teal, or sky blue, maybe they call it. Purple, number 250, Daz Cameron. Thank you. 
Atomic autograph is Ronell Wilson, number 100. Nice. Jody with another autograph for the Braves. Blue paper, Brennan McKay, number 150 for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. We've got a gold coming up. Gold. That card is gold. Gold, Joe Adele. Wow, nice hit there. Gold shimmer, 40 out of 50. Nice hit there. Angels were in a spot randomizer. <clears throat> Nicholas L. Ended up getting the Angels. One of the best prospects in baseball. Hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll see him next year, maybe. It's a nice one, though. Oh my god, I knew it. Oh man. I knew there was going to be something for this team. I knew it. That spot random took way too long to sell. Trevor T. Won him in a spot randomizer. One of one. Super Fractor. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for the Blue Jays. Holy crap. I knew it. They took way too long. Woo! Massive card, man. Congrats. <laughs> and he bought in just to help sell it out. He says he doesn't collect baseball, really. Wow, well, you might need to start collecting baseball now. It might be your sport. 101 Super Fractor ready for the show insert of Vlad Guerrero Jr. Man. Wow. Congrats, Trevor. Man, that's a nice one. Woo! Wow. Well, there it is, Super Fractor. Congrats, man. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Wow. Number one prospect. <clears throat> Woo. Nice hit. Oh, man, you're about to go to sleep? Wow. Good luck trying to sleep tonight. That's awesome, though. That is a crazy hit. <clears throat> Justice Sheffield to 499 That's what I needed, man. I, I, I said it right before it. I, needed, I was kind of getting a little slumpish, a little tired. But bam, there we go. Super Fractor Vlad Guerrero Jr. insert. And there's the base version. Um, there's a refractor auto, Reggie Lawson to four ninety nine. He's coming this week, yeah. That's what I heard, yeah. I mean he's gonna straight mash in the MLB, I think. G 
Jeter Downs, four ninety nine. Re- uh, Dodgers used to be a red, but that is Dodgers edition. I think he was in that Puig Matt Kemp trade. Man, man, man. To four ninety nine, Nick Senzel. I'm telling you guys, I don't hit a ton of super fractors in Bowman, but when I do, it's just like the best player to get. I mean, that's crazy. Hit a Chris Bryant Super Fractor Auto back in 2015. Hit a Carlos Rodon Super Fractor Auto when he was on the cover of the box. So, I mean, it's just crazy. They just call me Nick Bowman. All right. Tommy Romero for the Rays. <clears throat> Chris G. Or just Bowman. I should just legally change my first name. Get a Bowman tattoo. Just only open Bowman. There's a Kiebert Ruiz to 299 for the Dodgers. And base. So that was the first two boxes of Jumbo. I'll do the same uh, format, open two boxes and then show them off. There's another look at that Vlad Guerrero, I'll put it to the side for now. Yeah, I don't know if it's that much, but it definitely definitely pays for the $27.99 spot, I think. Although maybe after eBay fees and shipping, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it tops that, Eric. Let's not get carried away. Let's not get carried away. Yeah, actually, if I was... I mean, obviously, it's your card, Trevor, but I might wait until he gets called up next week, maybe. Although, by the time you get it, it might be he might be already called up. I just like it, the fact that it was in a spot randomizer that we've kind of, we kind of had to pull some teeth to sell. That's just crazy. Alright, so open these two boxes and we'll be halfway through.
Hey, I did say the other day, it usually comes in like twos. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another super fractor. That's how it is sometimes. We go on like a on a 20 case cold streak, no super fractors, and then all of a sudden two in the same case. But, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll hit a red or something. We take a red auto. Verlander to 150, Contreras to 499. I didn't even see it coming until it's barely there, though. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I think I have too, Jody. I think we've had a case like that before. There's a case going blue auto to 150 for the Rockies. Eric Bailey has the Rockies. Building the Casey Golden Super Collection over there. Cole win to 250, purple for the Rangers. I know you might as well at this point. Red coming up. Wow, nice case. Can I have ink on it? Come on, ink. Wow, nice. Ruiz for the Padres. Red refractor auto. Three of five. Man, nice case. Padres, that is Eric Bailey. Congrats, Eric. <laughs> Three out of five. Very nice. Red auto. I think that's my first red auto I've hit from 2019 Bowman. There's another Padre, Reggie Lawson. Eric Bailey. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Oh. There's Joe Dell to 499. Fractor.
Number 150, that is Chris and Pache. We got a Dom Thompson Williams, number to 299 for the Yankees. Nice hit there, going out to Thomas B. All right, have a good night, Trevor. Congrats. We got a teal, number to 125, that is uh, Kevin Smith for the Blue Jays. There's a Fractor Autograph, Brady Singer. Another nice one. 47 out of 499. Kansas City Royals, that one's going out to Daniel D. Joey Wendell to 250 for the Rays. To 499, John Duplantier. Stack right here. Oh man, I'm not watching the game. What's going on in the basketball game? What's the score? Autograph of Augustine for the Nationals. Keith has a Nets. It's a hockey game I got sucked into. Number to four ninety nine, Marte. Halfway through the jumbo, four boxes to go. Was that to win the game? 
He had a 35 foot buzzer to win? Damn. I wish we had two TVs here. I needed two TVs for tonight. Wow, 50 points. Jeez. Blazers just won. Yeah, Lillard hit a hit a three pointer from like the logo. Damn. Oh, the hockey game. It's still going on. It's in overtime. It's four four. 12 minutes left in overtime. How many overtimes does it need to go to a shootout? Do they, they still do that, right? Two overtimes? Yeah, I mean, it's not the biggest market, Eric. I kind of agree, but that goes for a lot of small market players. I mean, Mike Trout probably doesn't get a ton of attention. That he deserves. A few other players. We call it East Coast bias. So who do the Blazers play now? The... Oh, they don't do... Oh, okay. I kind of like the shootouts. But yeah, Lillard's a great player. Okay, so it's just sudden death. Gotcha. I thought I remember watching a Kings game when they went on the run in the shootout, but maybe they changed the rules. So maybe they play the winner of the Nuggets Spurs? Is that who Portland would play? I wasn't high on OKC to begin with. If I bet, I would definitely have bet, although it's easy to say now, but... I would have been on um, Portland to win that series. I actually think I think the Rockets take down Golden State this year. I know it's not a huge prediction, but all right, Nolan Gorman, nice hit there, one out of fifty for the Cardinals. Walter gets a top one hundred auto of Nolan, Nolan Gorman. <clears throat> it's been a great case. One out of 50, Nolan Gorman. There's a blue Jonathan India to 150 for the Cincinnati Reds. Bucks are going all the way. Yeah, I mean, Greek Freak looks pretty good. But yeah, I like I like the Bucks a lot. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, East? I don't know. I could see Philly making a run, too. I mean, Boston, you can never really count out. Toronto. Yeah, Milwaukee. There's a Victor, Victor Mesa. What a case. Wow. Victor, Victor Mesa auto for the Marlins and Keith. Nice Victor, Victor Mesa. There's a rookie autograph, Kyle Tucker, for the Astros. Nice rookie auto, Houston. Jeff. Nice Kyle Tucker. This case has been nice. That stack in general, Victor, Victor, Mesa, Anna, Nolan Gorman. Taylor Widener, number 250 for the Diamondbacks. To 499, Scooter Jeanette. Jeanette. And number to 250, Brandon Marsh. We had a red auto this case, too. Crazy. Super Fractor. <laughs> Joe picked a good day to be sick. I think we just picked the right cases for this one. There is a Ronnie Mauricio, another big name, to 499 Refractor Auto for the New York Mets. Wow, this is the best case by far I've opened. Daniel D. I know, marinated, marinated a little bit. Made it for the hobby case. Yeah, for sure. This has been an awesome jumbo. I already forgot what came out of the hobby. That's how bad my memory is. All right, we have a Ronaldo Hernandez, number 299 for the Tampa Bay Rays. Chris G with the Rays. Four ninety nine, Michael Franco, Ethan Hankins to one twenty five for the Indians.
There is a Gabriel Consal autograph for the Royals. That's Daniel Lee. Yeah, I actually kind of prefer, I know it's kind of contrarian, but I kind of prefer the Jumbo. I know it's more expensive, but I'm a sucker for the autos. I know sometimes it's easier to pull color from the the hobby. Although we had a lot of color in it, I guess just not the big names. Franklin Perez to two ninety nine. Nick Nieder to 150. Two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. See if we can get another big hit from this case. This case has been awesome. Thanks, everybody, for getting in the double header break. Appreciate it. Be adding some more Bowman to the store later tonight once I head off air. So check out the store in the morning, tomorrow morning. Let me get up, and I'll try to send out an email blast as soon as I can also, just for a reminder. Like a red, I don't think it is though. All right, and final box.
All right, so final two boxes. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully, we can get some hit list teams on the board. Hicklin, four ninety nine Royals. There's a base auto, Ryan McKenna, for the Orioles. Kyle F. with the Baltimore Orioles. There's a Kyle Tucker refractor auto. Got the base. Now the refractor auto to 499 uh, Astros. Jeff with the Houston Astros. Kyle Tucker. Gold Royce Lewis to 75 from the Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins, that's uh, Jared. There you go, Jared. Justin Sheffield, rookie autograph, New York Yankees. Thomas B. Justice Sheffield. There is a refractor number 499, Dylan Seeds for the White Sox. Aeronauta to 250, Colorado. Purple paper. And one box to go. Good luck, everybody. We're at the finish line. Took a little longer than I expected, but we also took a little break in between. And we also had that. Ooh, wow. Sharks win. Kind of root for Vegas. Um, we had that super fractor that <laughs> spent some time on the super fractor, I guess. Mackenzie Gore to 250.
Ronaldo Hernandez, Refractor Auto, 469 out of 499. Another Ray for Chris G. William Contreras to 125 for the Braves. There's a Gritero for the Twins, number to 50 gold. Yeah, Twins. It's weird because that looks like the Cincinnati Reds logo, but I didn't see the T there. I never even noticed that in the Twins logo. All right, so base. There's a base autograph, Andrew Beck told for the Twins. Jared. With a few hits here down the stretch. We got a purple auto, Reggie Lawson. I think that's the third Lawson. Number 250, Padres, Eric Bailey. Blue Refractor, Aralvis Martinez for the Blue Jays, number 150. And that will do it. So there you go. That was the Bowman Baseball 2019 doubleheader. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a hit recap in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate everyone staying up with me and have a great night.